bankruptcy in your home is our next chapter. If I file for bankruptcy, will I lose my home? Other than a 10-year-old car, William's only asset was his home of 30 years, and he had paid down most of the mortgage. He was able to file bankruptcy and eliminate his credit card debt and his medical debt. His house was protected in the process, and he was able to keep current on his mortgage. As a rule, if you're current on your mortgage payment, you won't lose your home in bankruptcy. Here's how it works. Chapter 7 is called a liquidation, and many people envision a conveyor belt where all their debts fall from a conveyor belt onto the uh, fire and are liquidated. But then all of your assets are put on the conveyor belt to be liquidated for the benefit of creditors. But here's where the attorney uh, takes those assets off of the conveyor belt because you have exemptions, meaning the asset is exempt from liquidation. How does this work? You have two exemption laws, but you can't mix and match them. You have Connecticut exemptions. Connecticut homestead exemption is $75,000 for each owner. And if two people own the house, there's $150,000 worth of uh, exemption power, provided you or a dependent is living in the house. Under federal exemption, each person is uh, has $25,150 exemption, and two people owning the same house have a total of $50,300 for a homestead exemption. Now, let's apply these rules. Let's suppose you and your wife own a home, and it's worth $300,000, and there's a mortgage for $150,000. Therefore, your equity is $150,000, and this would be exempt under Connecticut exemptions. We don't have to exempt the value of 300000 We only have to exempt the equity in your home. Some people have equity in their home more than the exemption power. In that case, we have to review either a Chapter 13, which is a reorganization, and you don't lose your home equity, or, or an out-of-court option is possible called debt settlement or debt adjusting. Connecticut has a stringy, stingy, I should say, homestead exemption compared to Rhode Island and Massachusetts, which is 500000 Now, that's for both, but 500000 worth of equity.